We are here before the park even opens. Apparently they don't open until nine, even if you're a pass holder on certain days. So that's a new one. Line's starting to back up. So apparently they can only allow one part to have early hours or something. Good morning from Islands of Adventure here in Orlando, Florida. We are finally in. We are heading to the rides. Today is Velocicoaster Day for us. They do have designated markers for where you're supposed to go. Oh, looking beautiful as always. We're gonna go to Spider-Man first, I think. streets are pretty much empty right now. Everyone's headed for Hagrid's. Huge long line behind us. Angie and I might be the only ones on this. Here we go. Here's the ride here. That's new, I've never seen that. With Spider-Man nearby, trouble can't be far away. And you know what trouble means. Is off to Kong. Let's do it. Man, on a hot day, this is like the best area you can come to. Oh man. Toon Lagoon is always a fun place. It's uh, not crowded right now. Usually it's pretty crowded because everyone's trying to get through. But I like Toon Lagoon. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. I mentioned in a video before that it might get turned into something else. But, they just finished this Dudley Do-Right uh, wall and everything, so I doubt it's gonna go anywhere. It's like, as you're approaching, you can hear, call, call. I know it's just in my head, but I love this ride so much. So, like I mentioned before, how this looks all um, overgrown once you enter this area. But, just a quick pro tip, if you come early to Islands of Adventure, it's not always going to be this empty on this side of the park, but it's a good idea to start with this side because everyone's over at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter right now. It's time. Let's do it. So the nice team worker, uh, Trevor, just told me that we are the first ones of the day. And I asked him, I said, typically, what time does this side of the park start getting pretty busy? He said, well, it depends. But with Velocicoaster and usually Harry Potter, about 10 o'clock. I rarely get to show you guys the queue of this in here because we usually go through the express pass. Oh, that's scary. Here's everyone's favorite creepy lady. It's so dark in here, you can barely get it. Park world, which we're entering now, right after Kong. 
here sits a beautiful T-Rex. Put this in our vlog the other day when we were here. Very short vlog, but look at this. This is awesome. So cool. Kind of gives you an idea of what it was like. Now, whether this vehicle was really used in the movie or not, I don't know. I'll find out that fact and tell you later. But I believe it's time to head over to Velocicoaster. One of my favorite rides, well, it's between Spider-Man and this is my favorite ride here. Yeah. But um, I don't know if anyone's on it yet. We're here so early. We're getting everything done that's not Harry Potter stuff. And uh, we'll wait for someone to come down here in just a second. I'm sure they will. Empty, yet again. We're not gonna ride this today because we don't want to get all nasty and slimy. But, still one of my favorite rides. I hope they don't change it, but there are rumors that they will change it to Jurassic World. But Angie wants them to do so. It's fine either way, she says, but let's wait for this to come down one more time. Oh man, whoever would have been on that one would have got soaked. Big time. Look at this thing. I don't know if it's running yet, but my gosh, what a ride. The entrance for the Velocicoaster is right after Discovery Center and right after the vacation information, right in between the watering hole. In other words, if you look up and see the castle, you know you're close. And yes. she's excited. <laughs> she's got her Velocicoaster shirt on today. She's ready to go. to Look. retrieve your items. You must put all of your loose items in
store. Selling the Lost Custom Merch channel, as always. I'm going to the cup. It's going to be like my thing. And the Lost Raft are just chilling out here. Waiting for you. This is where the ride exits. Out here to the bottom of the Discovery Center. Okay, so moment of truth, I was not able to ride it. Um, I almost got it, it was like that far away. But I continue my weight loss journey and it's okay because this came a month early than what we predicted it was going to come. So just knowing that I got that close a month out from our original date encourages me so much. And um, just letting you know, like, um, the seat is pretty tight. Um, it's hard to get into. The easiest way is to slide in and pull the bar down um, from the side. That would probably be the easiest way if you carry all the weight in your stomach, which I do. Um, I'm not sad. I thought I would be, but I'm actually encouraged because, like, like I said, I still have a, I had a month left of weight loss journey before, well, I'm not done, but before the Velocicoaster, and the fact that I got that close, I should have had the team member video it, but it was that close, that close, and uh, I'm encouraged, but Angie's going to tell you now her experience. It was so amazing. Oh my gosh, it's like the funnest roller coaster I've ever been on. Yeah. Like the, when they launch you off and oh my gosh, and there's a part on it where you pretty much are going straight up and you almost feel like you kind of, it backs up a little bit and then you go straight down and the part where you go straight down, my whole body came up out of the seat. <laughs> It was, oh my gosh, like it was so fun that it almost made me want to cry. <laughs> well, um, one thing is I'll say the team was awesome. Um, yeah. Very nice, very accommodating. They're really nice. Uh, uh, they were not like, oh, sir, you're probably not going to make it on here. They were very much like, hey, dude, try it, dude. Come on. They even pushed down on the restraints. Now, I don't know if they're supposed to, but they are because they want everyone to enjoy this. The team themselves were just talking about how amazing it is. So, when we come back, Halloween Horror Nights, it's on. <laughs> I'm encouraged, guys. Don't feel bad for me. I'm encouraged. And I'm ready. And I think we're going to go see Blue here in just a second. Every time I pass this, I have to say, what do they got in there? King Kong? Like Technically, they do. Come here without getting the castle. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna go get some butterbeer. I'd give anything to feel like this snowman right now. <laughs> What's your favorite butterbeer? Frozen, normal, or hot? Okay, so we didn't get to see blue because it was just, um, well, it was down when we went to go do it. So they're not gonna be open till later today. We're not gonna be here all day, unfortunately, but next time, I'll make sure we get blue. We were pointing out earlier how quiet the other side of the park is. You can see crazy things over here. Frozen butterbeer. It's been a while since I've had one. Oh man. That'll make you want to smack your Aunt Granny. So good. We have some Madagascar characters out here hanging out. Photo op for the little kids. Or for me. It hasn't reopened yet. And nobody knows if it will. We're back at a familiar area that we were last time. Mythos. We're not going to eat here today. We just stopped so Angie can finish her butterbeer. But it's been crazy. Uh, not a, the crowds aren't as bad today, you would say. We were here early too. Yeah, but it's still hotter 
been you know what out here. One day I might let you guys in on my secret saying. But, uh, yeah, so you're chilling. I'm gonna go through Seuss Landing, see what's up. And uh, I think that'll be about it for us. Anyway, we're not done yet, so come on. Going into Seuss Landing. See what they have in here. Showing you real quick a look at the land here. I'm not gonna spend much time here. This is really for kids. I have moose juice right over here. Goose juice. If you're leaving the park, I'm gonna show you a quick, cool, breezy way to get out and avoid the people. Step right in here. Souvenirs. Yeah, it's a bit of a shortcut. And maybe a little bit lazy, but it's nice and cool in here. All right, guys, that is our day, our long, hot day for the Velocicoaster exclusive here at Islands of Adventure. You guys are probably thinking that we sat in the car and filmed every single one of the end of the vlogs within, <laughs> within one setting. We really didn't. There's so many people out that you just can't get in a exclusive area really to do anything. Um, final thoughts uh, for me on the Vel Velocicoaster um, queue. I thought it was well put together, the uh, live action raptors or the animatronic raptors inside the queue were really cool. Uh, you could actually feel their breath coming off of their nostrils in there. Um, that was awesome. Uh, you know, I'm not that disappointed that I didn't get to ride because I knew this was early for me, but uh, I'm looking forward to coming back Halloween Horror Nights and doing it. And um, I will say, I don't know if how things are going to change. I know yesterday, as of the recording of this, uh, Governor DeSantis signed a bill that said that basically... Um, all the counties have to drop their mask mandates. Uh, Disney has come out and said that they're going to keep everything the same. Universal has not stated anything, uh, but they have definitely been more lax than Disney has been. So I wouldn't uh, be surprised if masks uh, end at the park soon. Um, whatever your personal preference is, I'm just telling you it is extremely hot with them on. And uh, I felt like today I was going to have heat stroke. It was 95 degrees, and it's the hottest it's been since we've been here. With the mask on, can't breathe. That's not good. Um, so anyway, with that being said, make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button. Hit the notification bell so you know when our next video is coming up. Thank you, guys. It's been a cool week here. Uh, we hope to be back soon during Halloween Horror Nights. But God bless you, and remember, the road goes ever on.